If you're doing the rear brake job on a Mazda CX-5 and you can't get those rear calipers off, I'm going to show you why. If you find this content helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So I have a 2016 Mazda CX-5 and I'm going to show you how to release the rear parking brake so that you can do a normal brake service. So if you're down here trying to get this caliper off and when you're doing it, you can't get it off, it's because you didn't do the secret code. And I'm going to show you the secret code how to get that caliper off. So before you even start the brake job, lift the vehicle up, you got to put the parking brake in service mode or you'll never get the, the caliper off. So first thing we just want to do is turn on the vehicle and verify that the parking brake is not engaged. Orange light on means it's engaged. No light means it's off. So it is in fact disengaged right now. Parking brake is not on. So just turn off the vehicle, then turn it back on, hitting it twice without pressing the gas pedal so that the car is on, but the engine is not. Then, what I want you to do is put your right foot on the accelerator pedal and hold it all the way down. With that, you want to hit the parking brake button to disengage by pushing it down. While holding both the accelerator pedal and the parking brake, hit the ignition switch three times. This is what will allow you to get the caliper off. So now you are in parking brake maintenance mode, and you know this because the P with the exclamation mark is lit up. So now, in order to take it out of maintenance mode, once you've changed the brakes, you do the same thing, but this time disengage the parking brake while holding the accelerator and the parking brake. Hit the, hit the ignition switch three times. Now the parking brake maintenance mode will go off. Again, you hold the accelerator while holding the parking brake, hitting the ignition switch three times. If you found this content helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.